Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Trick or Treat. So before I review Trick or Treat, my guest star Chase from his channel Down On Movies is going to be reviewing Trick or Treat, and he'll give you the plot synopsis of the movie as well. So Chase, take it away, man. My name is Chase, and I'm here to do this review of Trick or Treat. For my man, 22 Tiger Dude, thank you so much for letting me do this for you uh, and along with you on your channel. Uh, but basically, I'm here to just talk about Trick or Treat. Let's talk about it. So basically, it is kind of, it's a mix of like if Quentin Tarantino, Tales from the Crypts, and uh, Creepshow mashed together. Because it's kind of that, uh, they have four separate stories within a movie. Uh, that kind of bring them all together, but they're kind of in uh, different parts as well. Um, but it's really, really awesome. So basically, you have one story, which is about this this father who is kind of a little weird. He has a son with him and uh, a little psychotic. It's just wild, you know. And then it's another story is you have um, this couple at the beginning who, at the beginning of the movie, this couple, basically, it's, just, it's like the end of the night. It's like they're getting ready to be done. Um, with their day, and then they get attacked, or then they start arguing about taking the decorations down. The then something happens to the girlfriend, uh, which kind of ties back into the other stuff. Um, it has Anna Paquin in it from the X Men movies. Um, you know, it's about her and her her friends slash sisters. Uh, they're getting ready for a party, so you don't know what's really going on with them either. Uh, but that finds a way to tie in. I don't really want to spoil. If you haven't seen this movie, I don't really want to spoil a lot uh, uh, for you. But it's really really awesome. It's a fun one to watch every year. I watch it every single year. Um, but it has a really good cast, you know, Brian Cox, who plays the, uh, the dad in this one, uh, like I said, Anna Paquin, uh, Brian Singer produced it, the director is Michael Doherty, uh, who did, uh, who is about to have Krampus come out this year, uh, which is kind of going to be similar, but it's going to be for Christmas, uh, and it comes out this year, uh, but overall, very, very fun movie, I mean, I definitely, definitely recommend this movie for anyone who loves Halloween, who loves just extreme, kind of, unnecessary craziness sometimes in movies but it just makes it uh, all that much more fun to watch um oh and there's also sorry i'm going back and forth but there's also a part with these kids who are uh, trying to collect pumpkins throughout the movie uh and you're trying to figure out why there's just random kids p uh, getting pumpkins and then it finally gets to their story uh and then something happens with them as well um i don't want to spoil anything for you guys because if you haven't seen this i can't say it enough check it out um, it's really, really awesome. I'd would I'd probably give this an 8 out of 10. It's really, really awesome, really, really fun. And this little character, Sam, has his little uh, cameo in, in each little story, uh, but he has a bigger role at the very end. Uh, but he's kind of like the showrunner there. He's the dude that is uh, the face of the movie. So definitely recommend it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this. Thank you, 22 Tiger Dude, for letting me uh, do this with you on your channel. Uh, and if you have anything else, we'll see you later, guys. Thank you so much. Happy Halloween. Thank you so much, Chase, for giving your review for Trick or Treat. Now, in my opinion, I did have some fun with Trick or Treat. However, I don't really think it's a movie I find myself going back to. This is an anthology movie, which I thought was pretty interesting. I guess what I'll do in this review is basically tell you how I feel about each storyline because there are really like four different storylines you do get an opening scene don't want to really get into details with that one but i did really like how the movie started i thought it had a really cool opening scene there's a storyline with the father who is a principal at the school that's all i'm going to really say and for the most part i enjoyed that part of the movie however it did start to lose its steam after a while it did have funny moments, it got off to a good start, and then, like, as I said, it was just starting to lose its steam, and I was just kind of waiting for the movie to pick it up. And then it kind of did at the end of that storyline when you get to, uh, honestly, a pretty sick and twisted twist, but I'm not gonna lie, I actually really enjoyed that, oddly enough. So with this storyline, I'll just say it's decent, entertaining at best. I'm not going to really say anything else because I feel like I will give some spoilers into this movie. Other plotline involves these girls and the sister who is apparently a virgin and she's trying to find this one guy. I have three words for that storyline. I don't care. Seriously, of all the storylines in Trick or Treat, this is the storyline I honestly 
hate it. I really did not give a shit about this storyline. The acting in the storyline was really horrible too. Oh, and how this storyline ended was so freaking stupid. Seriously, I was actually face palming because it was that stupid. Yeah, a girl, a virgin, trying to find a guy. Yeah, nothing interesting about that in my opinion. There's a storyline involving these kids going to a graveyard and telling this urban legend story in which that was actually not too bad actually. The best part of that storyline was when they actually told the story of the urban legend because First of all, how they did that style when the kids were telling the story was interesting and it was shot so beautifully when they were telling that story. After that happened, however, with all of these teenagers in which I will say the acting was really well done from those kids better acted than those girls in my opinion. But the problem with this storyline is that after they did tell that urban legend story, it did feel pretty rushed. I still had some fun watching it. I was like, okay, this is still okay, this is still entertaining, but I did feel like the pacing was actually pretty rushed and I felt like it was kind of wrapping it up just so they can move on to the next storyline in this anthology. And then the last storyline that's told in this anthology, which I personally think is the best one in this entire movie, is actually the climax with this old man. He's actually a next door neighbor to the father in this anthology, which I found interesting. So that storyline does have some kind of connection to that storyline. And this last storyline does involve this trick or treater. It took place in like the final 20 minutes of this movie. And that's where I was like actually really into this movie. Um, because the other ones were all like, okay, yeah, I'm into it. The girls one. I just flat out despise, but this one is where I was like, yeah, I'm really into Trick or Treat now because it was actually thrilling, it was really fun, it was exciting, and I'm not gonna lie, I actually didn't want it to end because I enjoyed that last part of the storyline so much. So by far, the final 20 minutes of Trick or Treat is actually the best part, in my opinion. As Trick or Treat stands, it's an entertaining movie. It's okay. I had some fun watching Trick or Treat. However, it's not a movie I can really rewatch. I do understand why it has a following. I do understand why people either like this movie or love this movie. Me personally, it's just a one time done deal. So I'm going to give Trick or Treat two and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Trick or Treat. And I would love to thank my guest star Chase from his channel Down On Movies for guest starring to review Trick or Treat. And if you guys haven't checked out his channel, he's a very awesome dude. Please check him out. I will leave a link in the description below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.